What's happening guys, Eric1740 Garage. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, working on my 2000 uh, regular cab short bed Silverado. And I'm going to be putting a center console swap in it. I'm putting a console out of a 03 Chevy Silverado in it. Um, these consoles are, you can find them in the Silverados, you can find them in the Tahoe, Suburbans, you know, um, Unfortunately, I got a tan one. My interior is dark gray. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to interior dye. I got some paint, some interior dye, vinyl interior dye paint. And I'm going to go ahead and attempt to paint, uh, paint match this to match my interior. And I'll show you the steps to installing it and everything like that. It's getting a little dark on me. Um, so hopefully I got good light. Um, but anyway, I'll show you uh, the console I'm working on right here. All right, guys, here's the center console. Uh, this is out of an 03 Chevy Silverado. You can find a similar center console in the uh, Tahoes, uh, Suburbans, uh, 99 to 07, I believe. Or maybe on uh, Tahoes and Suburbans is 06. Uh, I'm not quite sure of that. But um, to do this console, you need to have full center console. You need to have the glove box and the panel behind the glove box. And then there's this plastic piece right here. You need this. And what this does is this bolts to your dash. Um, see, it's got these little nipples right here that stick out. On the passenger side, this one here, you need to drill the hole in the dash um, to fit so that nipple can slide into it. Um, but basically, it'll set up on here like this. This piece will bolt to your your dash and then that allows you to bolt the center console to the dash with two 10 millimeter bolts that'll go down in here but yeah you need this piece when you do the swap you need your console and you need the glove box I ain't figured out how to do it yet but these have like a little I don't know I think that's a six inch sub subwoofer um, in the center console it might be an eight inch but anyway, uh, you need to take, um, you could take and wire that up if you want to. Um, I'm probably going to do mine the right way when I get ready to convert the truck to power doors. I already got the power, I got the door panels there. Um, I have a set of, not tan, but I have a set of black, uh, dark charcoal power door panels right there when I get to, ready to do the swap. I got the... Uh, power window motors right here. I got the harnesses for the doors right here. So I'm not going to do that right now. But for right now, I'm going to um, I'm gonna swap this into my Silverado. Uh, my Silverado is a 2000. I did a, I did a video on it before uh, where I showed uh, dropping the front end 5 inches. Um, here are the seats that I took out. The middle seat's kind of like a romper, a jumper seat. It don't fold down or anything. It's a stationary seat. But um, I'll show you what you got to do to take those out. And I'm going to be doing interior dye. I'm going to try my, to interior dye this center console because my interior is dark charcoal gray. So what I did was I went down to Advanced Automotive. And I got this Duplicolor vinyl fabric paint, uh, interior dye. I'm going to go ahead and try to, uh, I've never used this stuff before. So we're going to see what happens. I went ahead and got two cans. I don't think I'll need two cans. Oh, hey, Cy. What are you doing? That's my cat, Cy. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'll do a time lapse. Uh, I'll try to show you guys. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically take I'm going to take a center section out. This pops out. This pops out. I'm going to pull this piece off. I'm going to pull. I'll probably go ahead and pull this uh, this cover off. This uh, lid lifts up, and I'll probably go ahead and unscrew that 
take that black piece out and just basically take it all apart and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get it all apart before I get ready to do a spray and uh, spray it uh, charcoal gray but for now um, it's getting it's dark out I was trying to get an easier uh, earlier start on this but uh, that's my truck 2000 Chevy Silverado it is a regular cab short bed uh, I'll show you guys. I'll get a better video and everything of it. I'll get it in the shop here and uh, get some lights in it. But um, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this taken apart. And I'll, uh, like I said, I'll set up a time lapse and uh, I'll try to show you guys what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Okay, guys, one thing I forgot to mention was um, you're taking apart this glove box to go ahead and paint match it, too. Uh, you have three screws that go through um, the glove box bracket right here. So these three holes are. You have them three screws that go through and basically hold the glove box um, into the truck. But you have to drill out these two rivets to be able to take this apart. So you can get in here and paint this uh, bezel uh, separate from the glove box itself. So I just figured I'd go ahead and show you guys that too. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff laid out here and uh, and start cleaning it up. Then I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do one at a time. And um, I'll try to time lapse it. I sprayed just a little bit right here just to see what it looked like. And I think it's going to match pretty good. Um, I know I'm taking the uh, easy way out right here. I have another glove box that I'm going to use right here that's already gray. Um, uh, but I'm not going to use it right now. Uh, so here's the other gl glove box. I uh, I went ahead and taped it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and mist the back side of this and everything and try to get it the best I could. Um, if not, there's rivets right there they're all over the back side of this i'd have to drill all the rivets out and i don't have any rivets right now to um, drill it all out and re-rivet it so i'm going to go ahead and do that for now um, just so i can get it painted and then what i'll end up doing since this glove box goes to that truck um, i'll just clean it up and i'll go ahead and stick it on i don't have to worry about painting it so that's the plan there but uh, i'm going to go ahead and set this uh set this camera up and do a time lapse of me uh, spraying these and we'll uh, see what it looks like when it's all finished. All right.
There it is. Let it all dry. Didn't turn out too bad. And I think it looks it definitely looks a lot better once it dries. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna let this dry for just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and pull this console over here. And uh, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And then I'm going to start assembling it. All right, see you guys in a few. All right, guys, there it is. I'm not gonna put this piece in until I go ahead and install it into the truck because there's two uh, 10 millimeter bolts behind that panel that you have to screw into the dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys a look at it. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, set up the phone um, or my camera on. I'm gonna set it up in my truck, and I got a light on here, so hopefully that's enough light, and I'll show you guys uh, how to do the install, and uh, hopefully, it, uh, hopefully it turns out okay. I'll be right back in a minute. All right, guys. Here's the uh, inside. I already got the seats out. Um, you guys should know how to take these seats out. You got uh, your front bolt right here. A 15 millimeter takes that off. I didn't have a socket for it, but uh, 15 millimeter takes that off. And then a 11 millimeter takes off the back bolt right there. And once you take them four bolts there out, on both sides, um, the eight bolts, once you take them out, uh, the center console just basically sets down on top of these studs right here. So that's what holds it in. And then it bolts underneath the dash here. But uh, like I was saying about about this center, um, this center piece, it's got these nipples on it right here. And on the dash, you have a hole over here right here for the uh, driver side one now the passenger side one I had to drill a hole right here because there's no hole so this sets up in here just like that now maybe a 10, 10 millimeter bolt here and right here but those hold your console on but you're going to have a seven millimeter here a seven millimeter here and then one right there and then one right there so i want to go ahead and put those in right now and then after that i'm going to go ahead and set the console in here and uh, get it bolted in oh wait first before i go ahead and do that um I'm gonna go ahead and put in this glove box and get it put in because it's gotta go behind the uh, the center console. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this centerpiece in and then we'll go ahead and start on the glove box. So I'll go ahead and uh, set this up so you guys can watch. All right guys. Um, I went ahead and run this harness up top. There's a little cutout right here underneath the dash but you have a 12 volt uh, for your 12 volt uh, accessory and then you have another one for your cigarette lighter and then you have another 12 volt accessory in the in what comes in this truck and then this right here is like a light for the ashtray it's not gonna have an ashtray in it so I'm just gonna tuck it away but we got to put these seven millimeter bolts in <laughs> All right, guys, I got that center in. I got the glove box in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the center console in. All right, guys, here it is. Um, I went ahead and put the seats back in, got everything bolted in, got the center piece uh, put back in, the plugs wired up. Uh, the collar is off. Um, it looked good when it was, you know, being, uh, when it was in the shop under the light and everything, but once it gets up next to the factory, um, 
dark charcoal gray it's way off so i think what i'm going to do is uh i'll rock it for now um until i find me another center console uh dark gray center console i'm, I'm sure i'll come across one uh, but besides that um yeah and another thing i wanted to uh let you guys know was uh this piece right here the piece below the um steering wheel I guess you need that piece too. I didn't know it. I thought you just needed the glove box and the, the, the bezel over here. Um, but you do need you do need this piece here. I went ahead and trimmed it. Yeah, it looks like crap, but it'll be all right for right now. Um, I'll, I'll go get the one that, uh, that I pulled this console out of. I can go get that one off that guy. So um, not a big deal. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Um, like I said, one more rundown. You need the piece underneath the steering column. You need the glove box and the bezel that goes around the glove box. And then you need the console. And then you need the, the black piece um, that lets you bolt your center console to your dash. Uh, that's what you need to do the swap. And... There it is. Well, that's what it is, guys. Um, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be yet, um, but it's probably going to be something to do with the truck. I have uh, other plans for it. I did put the new doors on it. Um, the doors uh, that was on it had some rust on them, so I found some rust-free doors. I went ahead and did put them on, put the bed on, got the roll pan on. But besides that, uh, I'll do another video, probably do a walk around of the truck um, in the daytime when you guys can see what's going on. But um, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.